So I found a uh, problem here. And this is actually probably my fault. Uh, it could have been my fault. It could have not been. But uh, what probably happened is I took this jet out here. And I forgot to turn it out all the way. Whenever you reinstall one of these jets, you got to turn this out all the way. Uh, well, this needle, I mean. And uh, what happened was it turned down and it pushed it in real hard. Because I wrenched this down right down and tight inside that uh, this here jet. So when it done that, it caused a little taper because I had another carburetor luckily and I found out that this one is completely straight and these are both the same here, although the end's a little different there, but uh, that doesn't matter. So I'm going to put this uh, this jet in here. I'm going to clean that off first. It's got all that gunk and stuff, but I got some carb cleaner. And uh, if you look down inside here, I also cleaned that out and stuff and uh, sprayed down some carb cleaner in there. It's got this white residue in there, but... Uh, I'll blow that out and stuff. Um, this is one of one of these carbs. These are actually the most common. The uh, even just a tiny little piece of dirt will cause a problem because all the dirt sits in the bottom of that carb there, and then there's the hole that goes in. And newer carbs, they actually pick up fuel from the inside. This actually drops it down, so all the dirt falls down inside there along with it, and then it's right in the worst place, right where that jet goes up. So this jet goes up in here. So, this jet, and this is why I said you gotta take it out. You can see that jet would have broke if I took that out because it goes in much farther than that. But it falls down in there, goes past the needle, and uh, whatever the, however far distanced this needle is between that hole there, so let's say it's just a little, that, like if it's inward just a little bit, that's uh, leaner. If it's outward just a little bit, it's richer. Whatever that gap is in between there, that's, uh, that's uh, uh, regulates your fuel mixture, and then fuel just heads up into here, which it's va pulled up by vacuum because it's updraft, which is how it works. Um, it's pulling as air goes up into the engine; it's sucking fuel up through here. It comes out as a mist, so that's kind of how it works. Um, but you know, let's just see if we can get this fixed here. He's uh, he's uh, just brushing that off with a fine wire brush. Don't use a wire wheel on a bench grinder or anything, because uh, this is only brass. Here, try, try spraying a little bit on there. There you go. Sorry, I got a little on here. A jacket. And then he's just going to wipe that off. That gets all that varnish off there and stuff. Uh, I don't think this needle is going to be perfect. I think it's a little pitted, but uh, it'll definitely probably, we could probably get it to run right. If not, I'll just replace that needle on the end there. Look how much cleaner that is. Even this one actually has that slight taper. It looks like someone did that before. But uh, it's very minor. It actually doesn't even look like it's there. So that could cause a few complications uh, getting around. But we'll see how it's going to run on this needle here. Um, if not, then we just replace this part. Alright, so he's just installing that in there. Make sure you got that needle in there and make sure it goes in correctly. And then just put the pin in there. It's a little brass pin. They're usually they're steel. Ah, uh, focus. There, it's focused. So that's in there. Alright, now what he's going to do, or I'm going to do, doesn't matter. Uh, he's just going to set the bowl on. And that goes, slides right down into there, so... And that gasket's good on there. In fact, that's the original gasket on that carb. And I'm like, what? When was this engine made? 60s sometime. Looks older than that, but no, it's only 60s. It's just a long block. Put it back in. Maybe we gotta just put in the uh, jet. 
Just slur in with your fingers first and then uh then you just tighten it down with the uh screwdriver. This carb isn't actually dirty really on the outside. I mean there's a little bit of dirt and grease and whatever on the outside, but it's it's actually that's just what it looks like. Um from so many years sitting in the dust and dirt just permanently stained the aluminum so he just asked how uh, far down it goes it just goes until it stops uh, there's one of the screwdrivers yeah you got the smaller one and then just make it snug don't try to tighten it up real well just make it snug uh, it's not gonna come out don't worry it's as far as I um, can get it so it doesn't turn anymore no, screwdriver's a little big. I'll t take a look at it. So there's a um, is a uh, rubber O-ring on the inside there that seals the fuel and keeps it from coming out. But uh, what I like I said to avoid happening what happened last time, just pull the needle out or turn it most of the way out. I think these are actually slightly different lengths, so I'm gonna pull it out all the way just to be safe. Ah, uh, no, nah, they're the same length, but just to be safe, uh, I'm just gonna put this on here because you know I don't want to wrench that needle onto that jet so just put the little ring on and then just tighten that down there and you can see there's the hole that goes up to the car bowl and then the fuel just falls down in between here and then this needle here determines how much is going to go up into the uh, into the uh, throttle body now you want to go put this jet back in there then and uh with a needle. These are really fucking good. You know, like I'm I'm not even I'm being fucking serious. These are probably the best sandwich crackers you will ever fucking eat in your entire life. I I got I, freaking insane. They're addicting. <laughs> um so yeah that's that's back in there. Not all the way. Yeah, um so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pre uh set this carb. Uh, usually what I just like to do, so that's all the way in there now, uh, now let's keep going, until it seats back, don't try to make it too tight, like I said, that'll taper that little brass piece, and then, so let's get that all the way, I should probably put a little lube on the threads in here, so that way that turns easy. So that should make it a little easier to fit around that O-ring and stuff then. That way I can feel for when it stops and then when it goes back out, it makes it much easier to tune. So I have about two turns on that needle, so let's just put it back in. I'm going to also switch this one over to two turns. It's probably more like one and one and a quarter, but so it'll be set pretty rich. Um, that way we know we're getting fuel to get it to start, and then uh, we can adjust from there. 